Okay, starting turn number 10, pretty sure this will be the last turn of the Legend of Drizz board game, adventure number two. Our heroes are both beat down pretty good, but so is the villain. The villain only has one hit point left, so uh, yeah, all we have to do is land a hit and game's over because we already have the crown. So Drizzt is immobilized, so we can't move, but the rules indicate that uh, like immobilization just kind of anchors you in place, but you still have use of your arms. You can still shoot a bow, anything like that. So Drizzt is going to swing with Icing Death against Artemis. It gets plus six on the attack. Uh, I will also say that at the start of the turn, actually we'll have him attack, attack with Twinkle. And so attack one adjacent monster and then place the stance token. So that way if he can absorb an attack basically that way. But hopefully we'll just hit him with Twinkle and it'll be over. So Drizzt rolls, gets a plus six on this attack. We need a nine or better, I think. Yeah, that's it. We got the 18, and technically I think that even is a critical hit. Okay, no, not a critical hit. Alright, so that's 18. So yeah, that does the one damage that's necessary to take out Artemis. So Artemis goes down. And let's just kind of play out what happens here. So we didn't use that. He couldn't move. But he did attack. Um, again, he can't move, so technically he gets a treasure, not that it matters. But let's just see what treasure he would have got, just out of curiosity. Mask of Disguise, blah, 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 it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's just read the victory condition. The heroes win the adventure when they defeat Artemis in Trari, and any hero has the crown. So, in previous turns, Brunner had uh, got the crown... And then we cornered Artemis over here and took him out. So cue the victory music. Game over. We won adventure number two. Uh, if you watched all this, please, uh, well, thank you for watching. And if you saw any mistakes I made, please let me know. I tend to consider an adventure invalid if I won the adventure, but I made a mistake that was in my favor. If I made a mistake that was in my favor, then I consider the run invalid. If I made a mistake that hurt me more than it needed to, well, that's a different story because obviously I would have won either way. But uh, yeah, if you saw any rules violations, uh, please point them out. And thank you for watching.